I must have recorded like five, six videos where I've mentioned I need to do a review for a pair of shoes and I'll get to it eventually. I'm finally getting to it. What's good YouTube, Ash Bash, back again for another video. And this is my review for the Slam Jam times A6 Gel Light 3, six parallel. So you haven't seen these kicks before. This is the second pair, I believe, that they've done with Slam Jam. The original color, which I'll show you right now, they follow the same sort of pattern, shall we say, the color blocking as the originals. But this one right here is the one that I've wanted. Missed out on it big time on release. I think it was like 2016 that these first came out. Finally picked up a pair. I believe it was, un yeah, I think it was under retail as well. So gassed about that. Sometimes you take a delayed W. This is one of them days. Anywho, let's open it up, show you about these kicks. So they come in your standard A6 box, blue and white, blue and white. Came with a bunch of extras as well. Didn't get all of them, but hey, is what it is sometimes. So on the box, colorway wise, it says gray and light gray. Bit of an understatement, I would say, because when you see the kicks, you know that there's more to the sneaker than gray and light gray. But maybe they don't want to throw on every single color that's on the box, but so open it up and show you this kick. And boom, here is the shoe in all its glory. Obviously that whole gray on gray thing, don't really add up, we see all the colors going on here. As I said, these released in 2016, so two years ago, proper delayed W, but is what it is. Show you some details of this kick and some of the close-ups so you can see why I think they're super dope. So the toe box of this shoe is done in this super soft mesh, like super duper soft mesh. And then the front of the shoe, this mud guard, is done in this grey suede. Feels very nice to touch, I must say. Towards the little hits here, they're done in 3M, which I'll show you pictures of all the little 3Ms that hits of the shoe, because there are quite a few, but these little two dots here are in 3M. Then you get the same grey suede towards the rest of the side of the shoe here, the mid panel. Then you get the A6 logo, which is in a lighter grey. Just underneath the logo and just like around the edges of it is actually in a 3M hit, which I'll show you what that looks like when the flash goes off and all that. Very nice touch. Behind the logo is this little webbing of this mesh here. Towards the back of the shoe, it's all in this super fire suede and this lovely blue colorway, this light blue. And it's got Slam Jam written here in like an orange color and it's embossed. Towards right at the back of the shoe, just behind the cage here, it's got gel written there again in orange and then A6 just stitched on here. Inside of the shoe, then with that same blue portion towards the back of the heel. And then this time, the A6 logo, the whole logo, is 3M, which I'll show you again. Super duper fire. It's basically a reverse of the other side where this is just around the edges. This one is all of the inside of the A6 logo and the edges are just plain, which is dope. And then again, same gray mesh towards the inside. The midsole of the shoe is this fire. Who would have thought of a gradient going from sort of black to gray to this crazy light blue, going around all the way to the back of the shoe. Super duper dope. Inside of the shoe here is done in this pretty nice material in this orange. And then the insole, which I can show you when I take it out, says Slam Jam inside there. And it's got some little pattern. God knows what that pattern means, but it's probably just like the sixth parallel sort of pattern, I guess. Pretty cool. Then the bottom of the shoe, black, gray. It's got the same blue as well. Fire, fire, flames. And as Asics do, which I love about their collabs, they chucked in tons and tons and tons of spare laces. So I've got hair taken out all muffled up. But you've got some white and black ones, some yellow, black and white ones, and some plain white flat laces. I have tons of rope laces as well, so who knows, I might chuck some in, see what they're like. But anywho, I'm going to chuck them on feet, show you what they're like. Let go. So that was a quick look of the A6 Gel Light 3 Time Slam Jam on feet. What did you think? I think they look fire. 
feel comfortable. Uh, I've been wearing these since I copped them to be fair. So they're like getting worn in now and stuff. But yeah, dope. Comfort wise, as you expect from gel light freeze, pretty damn comfortable. Uh, also another little thing that I noticed on the lace tips, it actually says slam jam on the little lace tips, which is a nice little touch. And also if you've not seen gel light freeze before, which I should have put a focus on in the start, the split tongue. It has that crazy split tongue effect, which you get with all gel light threes. It's just mad every time I see it. But you learn to love it and you learn to like it. So yeah, that's the end of my review for this shoe. Tell me what you think. Check out and see online if you can cop a pair. As I said, I got these for under retail, so super gassed about that. Who knows, you might find a steal out there yourself. Anywho, uh, more videos to come as usual. Every Monday, I post my videos of me waffling on about any other topic and my sneaker reviews as and when I pick up. Follow me on Instagram, Ashbash Sneakers. Again, post on there pretty regular and Twitter as well, which is Perfection7. All the links are down below. I'm signing out. Later, y'all.